I'm going to show you a very simple way to dark adapt your entire phone or any screen for that matter without adjusting any settings so that you can use your device while observing without destroying your night vision. I've been using this idea for years and it works better than the night mode settings in the astronomy apps. It also allows you to switch to any app on your phone that doesn't have night mode. So if you want, you can even call or text if you need. After showing you how to do this, I'll give you some tips I've only recently learned about night vision that I wish I knew years ago and that have helped me get even more out of my nights observing. So here's a phone I have dark adapted. Very simply, it's a removable and reusable special colored vinyl that's applied to the phone prior to observing. Very similar to those phone screen protectors you can buy, but it's not an off the shelf product. This is a vinyl that's used in the making of stained glass windows. And that's something that I came across many years ago when I ran a stained glass studio of my own. And I had sheets of this lying around. And I remember trying to make red torches for observing with red cellophane and even red nail polish when I was a kid. So I had this idea to use this material on my phone and it just worked. The only problem was the color of red I was using was too light and didn't cut the white light element enough very well. So I ordered various samples of reds to find the best color and settled on the darkest in the batch. This works really well when your eyes are fully dark adapted. I've put links to some of the websites that sell this vinyl in the description. Please know I am not affiliated with any of these companies nor am I making any commission from them. I purely just want to let people know that this is an option and has worked very well for me over the last couple of years. And if you think that this is going to a lot of effort just so you can have a better night's observing, if you're new to astronomy, that's understandable. You probably have heard people saying, oh, your eyes must be dark adapted when you go out to really appreciate the night sky. But truly fully dark adaption takes at least a half an hour up to an hour to happen. And there's a couple of different factors at play here that even some experienced observers aren't aware of. And I'll explain these shortly. So as you can see, it only takes a couple of minutes to cut out the vinyl to suit your device. Make sure that you don't activate night mode in your apps or on your phone because actually doing this will cause parts or all of the app to disappear underneath the red filter. You may need to increase or decrease the overall screen brightness to suit, but remember darker is better even when using red light. Once you're done, the filter simply peels off and you can store it until the next night observing on the sheet you cut the template from. If you have any torches lying around that you want to red light adapt, it's the exact same process. And this literally took five minutes to do. And as we all know, anything with astronomy or astrophotography in the title of it is about two times more expensive to buy. So save yourself a lot of money by making your own red light torches. So if you're watching this video to learn how to dark adapt your phone, then chances are you already know that we need to avoid white light while observing. But did you know that in the days leading up to a night's observing, if you are exposed to a lot of bright sunlight, then you're at a distinct disadvantage because your eyes may not be able to fully dark adapt no matter how long you're in dark. And here's why. Dark adaption begins when we enter a dimly lit environment or when daylight starts to fade. In bright light, our eyes primarily rely on cones, photoreceptor cells concentrated in the fovea for sharp and detailed vision. As light levels decrease, the cones become less active and we transition to using rods, another type of photoreceptor. Rods are highly sensitive to low levels of light, even being able to detect a single photon. The key that unlocks this ability is a light sensitive pigment called rhodopsin found in the rods. In well lit conditions rhodopsin is broken down into its constituent parts when it absorbs light making it ineffective. As we transition from daylight into twilight and then darkness, rhodopsin molecules gradually regenerate into their original form. You will need to be patient because this process is incredibly slow and can take at least 30 minutes for full dark adaption to occur. Longer if you've been exposed to bright sunlight in the previous days, as this will have a bleaching effect on the available rhodopsin. The regeneration of the molecules allows the rods to become increasingly sensitive to even the faintest of light. During this adaption period, it's crucial to avoid exposure to bright light sources, which will disrupt the regeneration process. The pupil also plays a role in dark adaption by dilating to allow more light into the eye in low light conditions. But be warned, sudden bright lights will instantly destroy your dark adaption by bleaching the regenerated rhodopsin, setting you back to square one. 
That's why us astronomers use red lights, which has the least impact on dark adaption when reading star charts or using telescopes in the dark. Other factors such as age, genetics and overall eye health can affect the speed and efficiency of the dark adaption process. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please check out my other video about night myopia. Even if you don't wear glasses during the day, you might need a pair for nighttime. So thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and clear skies.